And the city of Mesa has a new police chief. Uh, leaders today, today announcing that Tucson assistant chief Ramon Batista has been picked after serving in Tucson for 31 years. The city plans to officially introduce the chief sometime next month. Well, the coach at the center of the Hamilton High School hazing scandal is finally speaking out. Steve Bellis was removed as coach after six of his players were arrested. Team 12's William Pitts is here now with how the coach is defending himself. Will? Well, Bellis claims he heard a rumor here or there, but everyone denied it when he asked. He says it came as a shock when the police showed up and arrested his players. Hell on earth you know, would be a good way of summing it up. Former Hamilton High School coach Steve Bellis under fire for the last few months. Everyone wondering, what did he know about a hazing scandal that ended in the arrest of six players? Bellis speaking for the first time on the Brad Sesmat Show on azsports360.com. I was the captain of the ship. Um, I'm the one being held responsible, and, uh, you know, uh, that's just the way it goes when you're the guy in charge. But despite taking the blame, Bella says he had no idea the hazing was going on. That's despite a 17-month investigation and police interviewing his players. We thought really the case had been shut uh, because we didn't think there was anything there. Uh, every time we had talked to a kid or even to our group, there was... No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Bella says he continually asked the victims what had happened, but he claims they always denied anything had happened. When you simply get no, 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 and you're like, okay, then this must just be a lot of hearsay and stuff like that. But the investigation ended in March with six arrests, all current players. Three of them were charged with crimes, including sexual assault. 17-year-old Nathaniel Thomas was charged as an adult with sexual assault, kidnapping, and molestation. Two 16-year-olds were charged as juveniles. Still, Bella says he He's confident he did all he could. I don't know what I would have done different because we didn't know. <laughs> I think I, I can firmly say that at night when I put my head on my pillow. And Bellis is still employed by the Chandler School District, but the district says he's been reassigned and is not on campus. William Pitts, 12 News.